in my the last two I ran, I felt like I really pushed out and that helped me run 21. So yeah, I definitely like correlates and relates. Well, seeing what just happened at the 2024 Diamond League Round 6 in Oslo, Norway, makes it pretty obvious why Brittany Brown is so confident in her abilities. Haven't seen it yet? No worries, just make sure to pay close attention. That was an impressive race and an even more impressive finish. So who is this athlete who outran the 200 meter world champion Sharika Jackson among others? Well, Brittany Brown is a track and field athlete from the USA who specializes in sprint events. So far in her career, she is a one-time world championship silver medalist, one-time NECAC champion, one Diamond League meeting winner, and one-time national indoor champion. It was at the 2019 World Championships that Brown won the silver in the 200 meter. She chose the 100 meter after suffering from osteitis pubis, which is inflammation in the joint between your left and right pubic bones. Because of it, she not only had a painful finish in the 200 meter, but also one that dimmed her chances of the podium. Nevertheless, Brittany collected a silver medal in the 200 meter at the 2019 World Championships in Doha, Qatar. Great Britain's Dina Asher Smith won the event with a time of 21.88 seconds, while Brown achieved a personal best time of 22.22 seconds. Then, in 2022, she first went sub-11 in the 100 meter and recognized her ability to prepare for the 100 meter alongside the 200 meter. In a Sidious Mag interview in 2023, the American sprinter said, Last year, I broke 11 seconds for the first time. So we were just thinking like I could do it again in the 100 and I could do it again in the 200. So, you know, I'm just evolving as a sprinter, seeing myself how I can prepare and attack races like I never thought I could actually do. Last year, she represented the United States at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in the 100 meter after coming second in the USATF Outdoor Championships in the distance. At the 2023 USATF Toyota Outdoor Championships, she secured the 100 meter silver with a time of 10.90 S, which also marked her personal best. Her stellar performance in that race qualified her for the 2023 World Athletics Championships. However, in the finals in Budapest, she fell short with a 7th place finish after clocking 10.97 seconds. Coming into 2024, the 29 year old opened her 2024 outdoor individual campaign at the Jamaica Athletics Invitational Meet in early May. There, American women dominated the women's 400-meter race. Alexis Holmes was the one who stormed onto the top of the podium, and she was joined by compatriots Brittany Brown and Naasha Robinson. The three passed the finish line at 50.31, 51.21, and 51.81 seconds respectively. A few days later, Brown competed in the 200 meter at the USATF LA Grand Prix and shared the track with reigning 400 meter hurdles, champion Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. At the end of the race, McLaughlin Lavrone ran a personal best of 22.07 to win the race, followed by Abby Steiner, who crossed the finish line at 22.32 seconds. Brittany Brown finished third with a time of 22.35 seconds. In her first two races in the year, she'd already finished second and third, so she's bound to get the first place finish, don't you think? She does, and she did. Outrunning world-class sprinters is an amazing feat in and of itself, but that's not the most remarkable thing in Brittany's winning run. Out of the blocks from lane 8, Brown executed the tight curve on the Oslo track flawlessly and surged before the finish to overtake Talu Smith. Yep, the Claremont, California sprinter clocked a season best winning time of 22.32 seconds. I didn't execute a good start. Nonetheless, I came out there and did what I needed and knew what I could do even out of lane 8, Brown said later. I think this race adds on to my momentum, but not confidence as it cemented what I already knew. Last week, I ran the 100 at pre and got second to last. This week, I ran and won. She may be happy about the win, but the 2019 World Championship silver medalist expressed her displeasure with the difficult lane assignment. Going into this 200-meter sprint, fans in Oslo were treated to a packed lineup, with Brown, Sharika Jackson, Daryl Naita, and Marie-Jose Talu-Smith 
all set to take to the track at the Bizlet Olympic Stadium. Rounding out the entries for the event were Jenna Prandini, Anavia Battle, Mabundu Kohn, and Tassa Gia. As the sprinters arrived in Oslo, Brittany Brown was placed in lane 8. Despite having a higher overall world ranking than Prandini, Battle Kohn, and Jaya. However, Brown, the 2019 World Championship silver medalist, isn't ranked in the 200 meter distance yet this season. With all of her competitors ranked within the top 20, the American still wasn't impressed with being asked to run in lane 8 and took to X to express her feelings. You all tried me in LA, then you all tried me here. I'll go run in a Paul Doyle special before I do that again, especially in the 200 meter. Respectfully, stop playing in my face, she wrote. She added that the system wasn't fair and favored European athletes. Don't have me come all the way to Europe and put in lane 8 for a 200 talking about her world rankings is low. A system that's not equitable for all athletes. A system that works in favor for Euro athletes. Fortunately, the former Iowa Hawkeyes sprinter overcame her misfortune and a tough field of opponents for the timely win. Now, I'll probably have some ice cream to celebrate, Brown said. I'll head back into training now before the US trials and then it's all about making the team for Paris. I believe I can do that. I'm excited. For her part, Jamaican legend Sharika Jackson may have remembered her last year's outing at Bislett Olympic Stadium after stepping into Oslo. In the 100-meter event, she failed to defeat her arch-rival Marie-José Talu Smith, but her clocking remained enough to peep Olympic medalist Dina Asher Smith. Then, before participating in her 200-meter race, the Jamaican champion murmured, I am loving it here so far. The weather is beautiful. As optimistic and confident as she sounded, the title was a far reach this time as Brown defeated Jackson in the 200-meter event. As a matter of fact, some view it as a disappointing result for the 29-year-old Jackson, who had won the Marrakesh Diamond League in mid-May with a time of 22.82. In Oslo, she was mid-pack at the turn, but never found another gear, fading to finish fifth as Brown and Talu Smith surged. That's not all. Brittany Brown's time of 22.32 seconds looked not only defiant compared to Sharika's timing in Oslo, but was also superior to Jackson's winning time in Marrakesh. Anyhow, following a strong showing at the Oslo Diamond League meet, Brown will next challenge compatriots Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas at the upcoming 2024 U.S. Olympic track and field trials, scheduled from June 21st to June 30th, to ensure a place in the USA squad for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Before that, fans will get to see Brittany back in action at the Stockholm Diamond League in Sweden. Make sure to watch out for it. For now, watch this to see who else is on their way to the Olympic trials.